Hello guys, how are you guys? Today I got a bit of update for you guys. Today about me moving my electronics around on my dresser, if you guys can see. I actually like the new setup. I think it looks very good. I have a 19 inch television. I have a Bose 123 uh, audio system for the TV as well. I got the Bose speakers right in the middle of the uh, dresser. I have a LG uh, DVD uh, recorder and VCR recorder. It's a duo. It's both actually in the same unit. And I have a very small data box uh, for watching cable uh, in my room. Everything in my room it's also all digital. Everything is a very nice setup. I really do like it. I think it sounds very good with the extra speakers uh, for the unit itself. I think it gives you a little bit better sound and a little bit better uh, quality. Now, the biggest problem with trying to set up the speakers is the speakers have to be kind of uh, apart from each other. Now you guys can see, I have a very limited space uh, on this dresser top, you guys can see. I do not have the mounts uh, for the Bose speakers or the floor uh, holders or the wall mounts uh, for the uh, Bose speakers, but I actually really like them that way. I think they will actually work out that way. But the biggest problem is you got to make sure you do not block your IO sensor uh, remotes uh, for your TVs or your VCR or your cable box and also with the Bose units. That's the biggest problem because if you have a block or though, it would actually block the signal and the TV won't actually turn on. Now, I cannot add any more devices to my TV or any own devices on the dresser itself because I am just deadly out of room you guys can see. Now originally I did not like the new look of my uh, TV of me moving everything around. I'm used to having everything like just in the middle but what's kind of cool is actual gives me a little bit more of a space for the units to actual uh, cool off a bit without overheating the units themselves. That's the biggest problem because I used to actually had everything right in the middle of my dresser. I used to have DVR and the cable box would be underneath the VCR and the VCR would be on top of the cable box and the TV would be actually on top of the VCR itself because that's the way I used to actually use to set it up that way but with this small little data box from Comcast it was not going to work it means I had to reroute everything and reroute also 100% of all my wires from different uh, places of the unit. Now, this is a good setup for most people if you want to set it up this way. If you have the exact same antique dresser like this, you can set everything up this way as well. Now, let's go ahead and get a little closer for you guys can see what's going on. You guys can see. I really like the way it looks. I think it looks very uh, good. I honestly do. What do you guys think? That's kind of cool. And by the way, there's the own half of the Bose. Any of you guys can see there's the base unit right there. That's the base unit for the uh, Bose unit for you can get a little bit more of a base out of your TV or out of the sound. Or whatever you want to listen to on the Bose unit itself. But let's get a little more closer for the uh, VCR combo kit here. Now, this I bought a couple years back. This is an LG uh, DVD and VCR combo, you guys can see. It records DVDs and uh, VHS as well. But who uses VHS anymore here, guys? Well, like in 2014, holy. But like I said, and here's all the micro trolls and everything down below with this little door, if you guys can see this. This actual covers and hides modes of my controls and I keep this up. I don't like to keep that down because I actually think that looks a lot nicer that way. Very nice. Hey you guys can see here's the top little guy here what actually gives me all my channels and also all my cable directly to my uh, TV. This is a nice little unit from Comcast that you guys can see. But it's a very slow unit. Uh, <laughs> it's X1 actually. It's uh, I don't like it that much, but it's okay to watch certain type of cable. Now I'm not gonna play anything for you guys because of copyright uh, issues and stuff like that on YouTube. Now 
It was a 19-inch television, you guys can see. It's a very lightweight uh, machine, and it's light electronic as well. Well, what's nice about this is actually a 3-in-1. This one can be used as a TV model or a DVD player. You guys can see that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of handy. Now, this is just a very small unit, a very small piece of electronics I actually bought uh, years ago as well, and I really do enjoy watching some TV in my room very nicely. And so, here's the Bose unit. This is the actual head unit itself with the control, the speakers, and also the base unit as well. Now, I actually typically actually have three DVD players actually here right now. It means I can actually choose to use three DVD players if I want. I can put a DVD player in there, a DVD in that one, a DVD player in that one, like my DVD and my TV, and a DVD in that one as well to watch multiple uh, DVDs if I want. But I can only watch one at a time now, guys. But you notice the antenna on top of the Bose unit, that is for the FM radio on the Bose unit. By the way, the Bose unit does work very cool and very interesting. But that thing is all hooked up by mostly digital and also analog uh, cables. But not everything is high def on my TV. My TV is not considered high definition. It's mostly like uh, intermittent uh, high definition and somewhat analog, but that's okay. I don't much mind it because I really enjoy watching good TV in my room. And it's like I said, the TV is very small. It's only 19 inches, you know, 19 inch. But you know, I don't really care that much because I only bought it to watch certain type of uh, TV and certain types of movies on in my room on my TV as well. Now. I was explaining to you what happened uh, years ago. I used to have a tube television. It used to take up half of the uh, dresser or top, you guys can see. And you guys can see that's the reason I got a little bit smaller one because the tube TV originally uh, blew out. And it's like, yeah, it's time to get a new one. So, yeah, really. Well, I really like the other thing. It really works. Now, venting is one of the own issues with most of the cable boxes, isn't know, So, uh, new uh, technology now the issue is you put anything on top of your units what's going to actually happen is going to constantly overheat the system and you're not going to actually get a very good uh, venting for your dvd player or your uh, vcr and also your uh, bose unit you guys keep piling stuff on top of it but that's what i used to have a long time ago uh, in my I just used to have a thing just piled <coughs> on each other because I thought it was okay to put it uh, there, you know, just in the middle of the uh, center of the uh, dresser. But nowadays, everything looks a little bit better. I very am not happy with the way it all turned out. It turned out absolutely nice, guys. I think it really did. I enjoy having certain types of electronics in my room and this is just one of them this is just my uh tv and this is how i actually have everything set up on the dresser itself i thought it was kind of nice to actual try different ideas and different uh ways to put uh things on the dresser and space it all out now the biggest problem is you gotta know how much space you actually to truly need uh, for your speaker, so you guys can see typically the speaker should be a little bit more away from your television uh, They should be pointing this way, but they should be on your wall or You should actually get one of those uh, floor uh, things to actually put on But I don't have any of those type of accessories and brackets for uh, the Bose uh, speakers I really enjoy the way everything is hooked up now Talking about digital, uh, typically digital is a high definition of HDMI, but again, I'm using the old analog Colex cable, uh, analog signal, uh, you know, audio and video to watch my favorite shows on my TV. 
but I do actually have an HDMI uh, input. Not, not any HDMI inputs on this television, but a uh, component uh, input, and that's also high definition as well. But this is just how everything was set up and how I tried it all out. And by the way, you guys can see that little light box down there. That little light box is actually my power supply, and that's actually what gives me everything power with this uh, TV setup and everything. I really enjoy it. I think it's kind of cool and very nice. I hope you guys really enjoyed me uh, talking about this and how I set everything up. If you guys are really new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please like if you like electronics. That's kind of interesting. Leave a comment down below because I want to know what your idea is of how you set everything up on a very antique uh, dresser. Alright guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Later, peace out. Bye guys.